as you can see in this video, I'm connecting FreePBX directly to the internet for faster installation, configuration, activation, and updates. FreePBX firewall will not be installed because after installation, it will be connected inside my ASA firewall, which seems to me redundant. Install as shown. Enter and confirm the root password. Reboot, log in as root, and take note on the IP address. With a browser, enter the IP address of the server, log in as root and confirm the password. Enter notifications email address and click on setup system. Click on free PBX administration and login as root. With the activation error shown, ensure that your DNS server is up and running. Click on submit to accept the default language and time zone. Click on abort so as not to install system firewall and then resend. Click on Admin, System Admin, then Activate Free PBX and fill out required information as shown. From System Admin, verify system configuration as shown.
can't sleep at night Tossed and turned and sleeping And I wonder why I got the blue Yeah, yeah, I got the blue I got the blues, baby So I've been playing every night From the command line, update the free PBX server using yum update as shown. Run update again as shown. After the update, we will connect the server to our network as shown. Click on Applications, Extensions, and create PJSIP extension as shown. At the asterisk command line, enter PJSIP list endpoints to verify the status of the cell phones and extensions. As you can see, 701 and 702 are not in use. 703 is unavailable because the cell phone is not configured yet. Configure the 3CX cell phone to use 703 extension as shown.
verifying 703 extension status, it changed from unavailable to not in use, and 702 changed from not in use to unavailable because it was shut down. Now we will test the three CX soft phones for functionality. First we will call extension 702 from 701. Note that the changes in 702. Incoming calls, caller name, Ephraim Plaza, extension 701. Clicking on the green phone shows 701 Ephraim connected on line 1. Once you hang up, verifying from Aster's command line, you'll see both phones are no longer in use. Now let's call extension 703 from 702. As you can see on the asterisk command line, 702 is in use and 703 is ringing. Picking up the phone shows both phones are in use. Hanging up shows no longer in use. That's it, we're done. Stay tuned for our next video.